second against fourth in the group. Bag and Bears, who did so well to get through the qualifying system for a rare foray into this competition, but played three and lost three so far. As for Happowell, two victories out of their three games so far. The other game in the group about to tip off as well in Germany between Riesen, Ludwigsberg and Darush Afaka. A brilliant atmospheric venue as you always have in basketball stadiums in this part of the world. Happowell. Just a point behind the leader's reason right now and who got a big victory in Denmark already this season. Reason top three games, three wins. Hapoel next with two victories out of the three. Dara Shafaka just behind them, trying to go level tonight if they can. And Bakken Bears trying to get their first regular season victory of the campaign. Back and Bears have won three of the last four. They have dominated the Danish league since the arrival of Stefan Vick in the mid 90s. Back and Bears bringing in Tony Carr from Saskatchewan Rattlers this season. Elijah Childs from Trapani. And Deng Adel, the Australian who came from Ottawa Blackjacks. Top scorer in their semi final in the qualifiers against Fons Gumunsen. That played in Belgrade. Halfwell, Jerusalem are at the moment blazing an absolute trail. Six wins in a row in all competitions. They've beaten Dara Shafaka and Back and Bears so far this season. And a brand new signing coming in, Brandon Brown. He's not eligible tonight. He's just come in from Cluj, the American talent, Levi Randolph, Speedy Smith, number four, and Brandon Brown as well. Bears off the back of a domestic defeat at home at the weekend against Nasfet, having beaten Holbeck, Svenberg and Copenhagen on the road by 50 points. Back and have won only one of their 12 away games in basketball Champions League history. They've not won any of their eight. Quarters played away from home this season in the competition. They lost seven of them, the other one was tied. In terms of back and bears, Ryan Evans scored in double figures in his last two games. In the competition, Evans has made at least one steal in each of his nine basketball Champions League games. The Tifosi are out in Jerusalem, uh, the 11,000 capacity by Serena. And they will try and make this as hot a reception for the men from Storbakken and Arhus. Bears are currently third in the Basket Ligen in Denmark, a six and three record, but they've won the last six titles in a row and 10 of the last 12. As for Happel, Jerusalem, well, they've won five of the last six games in the regular season of the Basketball Champions League, including the most recent matchup against the Bears, 72-71. Each of the last six home games in the regular season, ending up with a single-digit margin. They're right now averaging 39 points in the paint per game this season in the BCL. They're tied for the most alongside Reason, Ludwigsburg and Malaga, while Bakken 
uh, the team continue the most points of the paint per game this season, 42 per match. And Zach Hankins has at least one block in each of his 19 appearances in the Basketball Champions League, the longest stretch of games by any player in league history. Hankins making an average of two blocks per game with Jerusalem as more. And they do too. Their only loss this campaign at home to recent Ludwigsburg by any points to 71. The German outfit have beaten everybody so far this season in the group. And their coach, Alexander Zikic, took over in the summer. Well known around the Balkans, and he won the Euro Challenge Cup with Kirk in 2011. And our referees tonight come from Spain, the Czech Republic and Cyprus, Antonio Gonde, Ivo Matejek and Ilias Kunelis. That compares with the starting five of Tony Carr, Ryan Evans, Darko Jukic, Michel Jiff from Senegal, and Skylar Bolin from Arkansas. Anders Sommer in charge. He's been at the helm for 18 months. He's been with the club three seasons as an assistant first to Stefan Rick, and now on his own. Three summers, three titles, but as they say in Denmark, it is like succeeding Alex Ferguson. And they're not wrong. Hapoel Jerusalem, who were semi finalists in the Israeli league last season, quarter finalists in the cup, start with Levi Randolph, Speedy Smith, Maddox, Mieris, Zach Hankins, and Orr. Cornelius, Alexander Zikic, the five-time league winner back home. In the Balkans, Olympia Ljubljana, three with Kerka, and most recently, Budosnost, he did the double there, but was released, surprisingly, in the summer. That is definitely Hapoel Jerusalem's game. So they and Risa Ludwigsberg, most points of the paint so far this season, Zach Hankins with that record run. Decision in the paint on the Mayas, Reese Poppy. Red. Ready to go downhill if you can't turn. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Back and Bears in history have only won once on the road in the Basketball Champions League, and they need more double figures from Ryan Evans tonight, and not just him.
And we are underway. Hapoel Jerusalem, look to go. Top of the table tonight for a little while anyway, alongside Riesen Ludwigsberg. Back and Bears would just like a win. Hapoel Jerusalem in the white, back and Bears in their usual black. And in the paint, straight away, Hapoel Jerusalem and the man in the mask, Zach Hankins from Missouri scores. But what a response. Back and Bears back on terms. Knocking it up at two points apiece. And that, very, very welcome for them. Ryan Evans made that jump shot. Two points on the board for him as well. Bears weren't behind for long, and now they come on the quick break and a chance for three. Missed by Steiner Bowling. Yeah, he came in the summer from Bonn. They brought a few new signings in, but they've got four Danish internationals in their squad and a good bit of American talent as well because, well, because. Speedy Smith instantly recognizable with the flowing locks. He was in position. Draws the foul immediately from Kentucky, signed from Lithuanian basketball and Ritas Vilnius. Won the league title with them last campaign. That was a nice bucket by Ryan Evans. And Smith misses the first. Got that one at least. Nice score, got the second of the two, and Speedy Smith gets his opening score of the night. Top score in the last two games for them. Marek Smijeris, that's another miss. He got 15 points in the one-point win in Denmark last time out. Top scorer with 19 when they lost at home to Riesen Ludwigsberg, but they're not thinking about defeat tonight, as that's another brilliant score put away by Hankins, and that was blistering. And so far, Hapoel are blistering. 5-2, he's got both his attempts. This has got the makings potentially of a decent game tonight. Tony Carr from Pennsylvania, from Philadelphia, not sure if it's West or East. In his case, it doesn't matter. Just stepped inside, into the paint, and home by Hankins. There's no masking his talent. No masking the fact that he's the man who registers Happel's first foul of the night either. Little shuffle through, almost worked out well for Darko Juric. They were running down the clock, Ryan Evans had the attempt which didn't come in. It's his fifth season with back and bears now, having come from Cholet in France. Crossed by Speedy Smith again. You cannot say his name too often. Randolph! Oh, what a score! And that's a three-pointer by Levi Randolph, the Basketball Champions League top scorer last season. And that was a terrific score. And that was a terrific stop. And here come Hapoel again through Speedy Smith. Laid inside quickly to Hankins by Mieres, and Hankins will have another bite at it. From looking to draw the foul. And he has pretty much done that. They've won seven of the last ten games, six wins in a row. Prior to that, they'd lost three in a row in all competitions, Hapoel. Foul drawn by Zach Hankins off Michel Juff, the Senegalese. Bears second foul. And uh, having to do a little bit of resetting. It's a decent lead for Hapoel, but not as big as they thought.
So from the free throw line, missed by Hankins. Somewhat shocked defeat domestically, although Nesved are very competitive in their own right. And there's some who've been in charge of a Bailosa for uh, two seasons before he's brought on board as assistant to Stefan Vick. Darko Vucic. No joy for him so far. Bad start for Back and Bears. And let's face it, it's been a horrible day for Danish sport already. Hankins with a, a second foul. At least Back and Bears can put a little bit of sunshine in the day. Although, in comparison with what's already happened today for Denmark, not a huge amount. But Tony Carr has scored. Came in August from the Saskatchewan Rattlers. And that's what he's done here for his first score. And welcome it was too for them. attempt which was just missed and back and bears have not been tremendously successful in their attempt so far Hapoel have been Maddox Mieris top scorer for the past two games and the Latvian pounces in top style they lead by six again not anymore they don't first three pointer for the back and bears Back in business. Tony Carr making the three-pointer, having missed his previous jump shot. Down to three again, stepped inside. Levi Randolph did well, almost setting up the alley-oop, but Michel Duff in the way, and now Backen can bring it away again. Played at home games in Aarhus at the VLB risk of Haaland. And they've been real powers in Scandinavian basketball for decades. This is another reality check on the European stage, though. Speedy Smith does it again, his first field goal of the night. 12-7, the Hapoel Jerusalem lead. That was asking a huge amount of Skylar Bowler. Speedy by name, and, well, you know the rest. On he came. And that a brilliant setup for Mieres. 15 points last time in Denmark against the Bakken Bears, and 19 here against Riesa Ludwigsberg, but that ended in defeat for them. Late shot for Levi Randolph. And he has support, turning, Mieres again. Came from Victoria Libertas. Saro in August with Bia Frigo for five years, three times a league winner in Latvia with them. Obviously that league now combined with Estonia, but they still run off the Latvian league. Same story in Belgium and the Netherlands have their own respective national competitions and then the top teams face off in the B-Next league. Good turn, but it wouldn't fall for Tony Carr. How frustrating. And now here come Hapoel Jerusalem again. Levi Randolph. That's a decent look for three from a nice distance downtown from Speedy Smith. Here's Ryan Evans, short for Tony Carr. Penn State, his college. Evans scores, doubles his money, and the Bears are only three behind. And they only lost by one at home. 
to Hafer El Jerusalem last time out, beaten by 14 points away in Turkey by Dara Shafaka. And in their opening game away at Riesen Ludwigsburg, a class act of the Bundesliga, beaten by 41, 99-85. Levi Randolph, little shuffle inside. Had an opening for three, takes the two instead. Levi Randolph up to five points and Hapoel uh, keeping back in bears at arm's length. Nice roll through, Darko Jukic brings it all the way to score. That's his first of the night. MVP in 2013. Joined in the summer of 2017 from Kirka and did play for a little bit under Alexander Jukic there. Back in the Balkans. Now a Danish international having spent uh, enough time here. Five seasons here, five league titles here. They didn't win the cup last season. Beaten in the final. We well, can't expect to win every game. Itai Segev, the Hapoel captain, on for... Only felt like a matter of seconds. It's because it was. Zach Hankins has done enough for now. Segev is now officially in. And Noam Dobrat as well for Hankins and Smith. Carr drawing the foul off Kadeen Carrington for his first foul tonight. From the free throw line, it's Carr. The first one is good. And this to make it a one point game. And that has happened. Carr with seven points. Back and Bears keeping themselves going. Happy Jerusalem have used all the fouls up, by the way. That's a problem. Still some to use for the Bears, and they are using them. Deng Adele, the uh, Australian. He was back there. I wonder if that was against him, though. From the free throw line, Carrington gets the first. That was against Knutz. It's Carrington's first score of the night as well. Just signed from Jean d'Arc Dijon, who are playing tonight. He's got both of those. Decent scoring opening quarter. Short for Tony Carr again, 2.20 to go in quarter number one. Carr's been the scorer in chief so far, and he might have gone for that himself. Elijah Childs had a couple of pops too. The recent signing from Trapani, from Missouri he is. He's drawn the foul. And that will be... Punished from the free throw line. Seem Sandevene of Estonia, who came in the summer from Varese in Italy. Most of his career has been spent just down the Baltic coast a little bit with Zalgaris Karis. Charles from the free throw line. Drew the foul off Marek Smierx. Couldn't put it home. He's only 38 and this summer. He was only 36 when he was pointed in the top job. And neither of those two sunk by Elijah Childs, who was the all NBC 2020 and 2021 uh, with Bradley College. Great town sad high school he was learning his trade. Itay Segev had got the defensive rebound, having come on again for Hapoel, got the move going. Kineen Carrington has chances on the 
free throw line after Knudsen's second foul. Three out of three for Kadeen Carrington. Of Trinidad and Tobago. Faultless. The lead is five. The atmosphere pulsating. Back and Bears have used up all the fouls as well. Charles have used up a lot of his luck too. Short for Levi Randolph. And again by Randolph. Here's an opening for three, which has been taken. And how by Kadeen Carrington. He's up to seven points in this opening quarter, and the Bears are being cooked early on. Their second three pointer of the night. Top scoring for Hapoel. And it's too dangerous now. Now we take all these people again. They all play on Tony all the time, so we need other guys to come to the ball the event to bring it up. They set a screen for the one. Yes, he's going to open it, but gets speed on that. The second thing is that we've executed. I want to go be here for heaven, so we can't just go up and string it out and play one on one after five seconds. Okay? Either fast or organized. We're way too much in between right now. Okay? Way too much in between. I want to go B violence. I want to go D violence. Okay? Go, 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 go. Back and bear as you saw with those stats are leaving themselves really wide open right now. It's an eight-point game, and Back and Bears are having their worst fears realised at the moment. Good score by Ryan Evans. They've not had enough of those. The field goals are weighing down below 50% at one stage. Even lower than that, 35 before that. Successful score from Evans, six points to him, seven for Tony Carr. Yuki just got two, and the rest nothing between them. Decent attempt for three, which rebounded away. It comes back through towards Skylar Bolin. Well, that's positivity at least, because Charles says that. It's his first score tonight. And they've got four points in a row. Quick timeout call. Hapoel Jerusalem were well in control. They were eight points up thanks to that additional three pointer, but Evans scoring, Child scoring, and suddenly it's down to four. Sides have only been level once in the contest when it was two points each. Ryan Evans out for the moment. Michelle Jiff is back on. Evans has put a good degree of effort in, even though he may not look as if he wants to be on the bench at the moment. Noam Dovrat, one of the many Israeli internationals in this squad, and one of the many top-notch scorers, Carrington, 
with another three-pointer, and he's up to 10. 24 plays 17. That's a lot more like it from Hapoel. That's a lot more like it from the Bears as well. A very useful two points. Charles is definitely having his role. There's a potential buzzer beater from Carrington, which didn't fall. And it is Hapoel Jerusalem who have control and a five point lead at the end of the opening quarter. Hapoel Jerusalem 24, back in Bears 19. A hundred percent two-point attempts from Hapoel so far, and the Bears. Away we go again at the Pais Arena. Hapoel Jerusalem, the twice Israeli League champions, 2015, 2017 against the Back and Bears, 20 league titles, 18 of which were won under Stefan Vick. Attempt by Genk Adel. Didn't quite make it through. Born in South Sudan, went with his family to Melbourne at the age of eight. Wouldn't quite. Dropped successfully for Ite Segev, league winner in 2018 with Maccabi Tel Aviv. He won three cups of them as well. Joined from Graveline in France, Graveline Dunkirk back in well the summer of 2021, which isn't that long ago, really. I know it feels like it. Pointed club captain here. He won the clean sweep with Maccabi. Short for Tony Carr. Childs openings. Oh, yes, used the backboard well. And Elijah Childs gets the opening score of this quarter. It's three. It's only the second one they've got, and they've attempted quite a few of those. Now at last, a little bit of success. Brilliant from Childs. Cuts the gap down to two. They've had a couple of really good scoring runs. They've scored nine of the last 12 points of back in Bears. That'll change here. Ali upset up. It should have changed here, but it wasn't turned in by Ite Segev. Now he's got to go back into his defensive duties. Quick turnover. It fell out of Deng's hands. And another one stopped by Tony Carr. 
They know each other's game so well after meeting earlier this month. A couple of quick turnovers, and you might say it's sloppy. I'm sure the rest of it would say it's competitive. I'm not sure what he'd say it is. Apologies for his words earlier, by the way. Carrington's just committed his second foul. Short by Bolin in for Michel Dieu. FIBA Europe Cup all-time top scorer, which is a great feat in itself. And this would have been two with Tony Carr put it into. Tied up at 24 all, but he just missed. Played in by Carrington. Chance on for three! And Hankins on the bench can fully appreciate it. Cornelius gets his first score tonight, and it's a triple. The four three pointer as well, all told. It's come out towards Skylar Bolin. Probably got two seconds left in the shot clock. It has to come now, and it has done. Childs up to nine. Keeping themselves afloat. They were decimated in Ludwigsburg. A massive defeat. Conceded 99 points, only got 58 themselves. Is there a whopping three coming here? They're almost one from oh, Cornelius. Scoring rate has stayed up a bit for Hapoel. And they've been so successful when it's come to two-point plays, five out of the six they've got so far, which is, I'd say, almost unheard of. It's a Segev to the seats. There's a foul against Seam Sander Bene, by the way. That's his first of the night, the second of this quarter against Hapoel Jerusalem. Darko Jukic came from Kirka. Uh, had just the one season there. Now, Carr, ambitious, went for the three pointer, was fouled, almost dropped in, but he'll have three attempts on the free throw line here. Possibilities for Anders Sommer and company. And the second. Well, this could be the all square. It is 27, 26. And this to tie it up at 27 all, and he has done that. And for the first time since it was two points each, we are dead square in Jerusalem. Well, we're in the sports quarter of the city, this venue, which is only about seven years old. Here's a man, Zach Hankins, who's blown the doors open. He's just come from Metzgerum Bio, the NCAA Division II champion. He was in there, and Hankins scores again. And whatever thought Bears had of leading, they can put it on ice for a few seconds. Evans couldn't get the two. Originally looking to do it from slightly further out and into downtown territory. Good tee up. Oh, Hankins thinking about the dunk and was dunked himself by Evans. He's just come in for Childs. Good to see Speedy Smith back in again, and Evans committing the foul on Hankins. That is Evans' first foul tonight. Applewell have used all their fouls up in this quarter.
The first of them is there. Thirty points to twenty seven it is. Taken clear. Noam Dovrat. Oh yes. And now he's on the board. He was the discovery of the year in Israel two seasons ago. And he's discovered a spot on the scoreboard as well. Makes it a five point game. Quick turnover. Dovrat in and away and home. Good steal made the layup. Five point game. Hankins had missed the second of those free throws. I believe you might have just missed it. And so did he. Better bumping on this roll. Hankins, we gotta hit him every single time. Go early from the punch, we'll rotate out of it. Go, 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 go. go. Fabulous venue. Back and Bears getting very acquainted to it right now. Unfortunately for their point of view, although Carr is in and Carr scores. It's a game where they've not yet led, where they've been level twice and they're only three points down. So they won't worry about the percentages too much. Makes it a six-point game. That is their fifth of the night. They're second in this quarter. It's a good high percentage they're getting from it as well. It's in the right position. Good straight shot from Seam Sandevene. After that, Jukic. Join the foul from Noam Dovrat, his first of the night, the 20 year old who came from Maccabi, Rishon Le Zion a year ago. Jukic gets the first. Well, that's two out of two from Jukic. And that's all they could have asked from him in that situation. But Hapoel Jerusalem just will not be stopped, and Benny's got another three. That's two of them in this quarter, back to back, six points. They're on a roll, they have their biggest lead again of seven points. And it can get even greater here. Then a first, Speedy Smith. Nice set up and dunked in by Hankins with the throw down. He's got nine, the lead is nine, and Hapoel are on a roll. That's got the crowd rolling as well. Chance for Childs at three, and he's nailed that as well. And he's the first man to hit. Two from back and Bears in this quarter. He's up to 12 points, just as Tony Carr is. Short inside again. And Hankins draws the foul. Evans right up with him. That'll be Evans' second foul. A 
real rocking game so far. Six between them, and this for a little bit more. Hankins hits double figures. He and Carrington now both on 10 points. That should make Alexander Zikic that little bit happier. Can you tell? Hankins now has 11. Eight point game, 42 plays, 34. Dako, Jukic again, a chance to three from Dioff. Wouldn't drop this time. Top scored against Hapoel a few weeks ago. The one point loss back in Denmark. They've worked that one really well. And finally it's touched in by Dioff. Charles had the original effort. That should go down as Juff's score. And the gap is down to six again. Levi Randolph short fit seems Sander Vene with those six points so far in this quarter. Short and tempting. Darko. Jukic again, back and Bears have held their own quite well. Evans, uh, just problem that they've been missing far too regularly. 46% in terms of the field goals, it has improved them. The three-pointers, three out of eight today. Six-point game, it remains. Good contest this so far, and brilliantly attended to. So short, no Davrat, fanned by Mieris. Four seconds left in the shot clock. He was always tempted by the three, he was right to go for it. Hankins was second best, whipped away from him by Skylar Bullet. Comes out towards Ryan Evans again, and it wouldn't fall home as he goes for the three. maintaining a decent advantage over the Danes. Aliyev! Oh, reverse Aliyev too! Zach Hankins has every trick in the book! Thirteen points, top scorer in the contest. That was one of the plays of the week. Would have been helpful for Childs had it dropped in. Nine assists for Smith already, by the way. He's having a night of it. Speedy Smith has scored three. He's made so much happen. Ryan Evans for the back and bears. Turn inside. Childs. It's in for 14. And it is a six point game again. by Randolph, signed from Estenda, won the Belgian league with them last season. They went out in the semi-finals of the B next. The attempt by Mieris, the Latvian, that will go in by Hankins. And he's got 15 points now. And that is a bit more like it from a Hapoel Jerusalem point of view. Eight point game, five point game after that. Tremendous from distance by Skylar Bolin. His first score of the night's a three-pointer. MVP in Denmark in 2015, and that's the kind of mark that did it. Won the league with Horsens in Denmark, then went to the Sudetoya Kings and won the league in Sweden and was MVP there as well. Let's go to rotate, hand off. To rotate, hand off. Right. 
with that, just repeat it. We want Evans in the last pick and roll, but not to shoot over him, attack the legs. That's been the night of Speedy Smith so far. And a very successful one as well. Helping Hapoel to a five-point lead. And you can add an extra two to that. Forty-eight plays forty-one. Bang on half time. Randolph with the layup. Seven points from now. His first score in the second quarter that was. Brought through again by Tony Carr, and Carr is in, and he's run out of time. The shot clock is done. There's still a second left. I think we can forget about that. And certainly, Segev can. Well, they've time for a potential buzzer beat at Hapoel Jerusalem. They lead by seven. Have a look at the situation. That's Aris Cornelius Carrington in, Miera Segev out, and it's reset to 1.8. That's uh, marginally more time for Hapoel, but it, as margins go, they're not much finer than that. Chance to go long, shot to nothing. Who? Not bad, not bad from there. Well, it's Hapoel Jerusalem who have one of their biggest leads of the night, but they've not led by double figures yet. Hapoel Jerusalem 48, back in Bears 41 at half time. High scoring in terms of the two pointers for Hapoel Jerusalem. They've only missed two so far. They've rebounded better than the Bears as well. And they lead by seven. And look at all those assists. Nine for Speedy Smith. Hankins with 15. Carrington with 10 for Hapoel Jerusalem. Charles and Char in double numbers for the Bears as well. And the gap at half time to two for seven.
Killjoy. Marcel. Pustoyi back on. Couldn't quite score it last time, and he went to block that time. He did it. He fouled. Falco, double the lead, and it could get higher. No hands to work their way out of a difficult situation. Ragland and Green combining, but no joy on this occasion. Easy points for Galatasaray. They lead by eight. Will it be finished? No, it won't, because that's a fantastic piece of defense. And now he's on the offense. Morgan set it up, and it was dropped in. Kratzer from Morgan.
the foul inside the paint as Juric was bringing it through and gets the score and the foul with it Darko Jukic up to six points and that's one to add to the collection so Jukic has scored seven, and it is a six-point game, and we had the moment where it went up to nine points for Hapoel Jerusalem. Vieres having made that dunk a few moments ago, up to four points, and that's a very fine three from Randolph as he hits ten points tonight. They have laid off in terms of the three-pointers this evening, but they've still got seven. Here's another two coming in. Oh, hello. Hello. Kadeen Carrington. We barely saw him in the second quarter. We are seeing him now. An 11-point margin is the biggest of the game. Sensational. And that's turned in by Tony Carr. 14 points for him. The Hapoel have put the foot down slightly. Seven points to five, they're outscoring the Bears. And aiming for a bit more, Hankins on the turn. 15 points in that first half. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. And maybe more to come. Carrington top scored their opening game, the opening night win by two against Dallas Shafaka. Mieris has top scored the two since then. That almost made it in for three for Randolph again. He is on it early on. He is really on it. Hapoel Jerusalem are as well.
Played back in, and that's a nice score by Evans. Eight points for him now. Seven between them. They just keep shuffling back every so often. Three wins out of four since they were edged out in Aarhus by Hapoel. Just one drop taken away, Jukic denied. Played through by Skylar Bolin. Looking for the three, Jeff! Hits in! Five points for him, four points between them. It is their fifth three-pointer of the night. And they are making it work. That could have been very valuable from downtown from a half a well point of view. The dunk wouldn't go in. Denied by Hankins. Half denied anyway. Brought in Boland trying to make it work. And the foul. Carrington. It just came through Harrington and the rebound. I actually fancy it was... Zach Hankins. Chance of three. Never really looked like it from Michel Juf's point of view. It was a tentative look from him. Harrington's now on four fouls. Opportunities, me yes, no. Had a few assaults forward that have not worked out, and suddenly the gap is four, and it could be less here. It is, it's Childs. He scored 16, and back and bears are not buried yet. It's nine points in a row without reply. Smith has 11 assists, by the way, for Happerwell Jerusalem. Dangadel and Elijah Childs in for. Skylar Bolin and Michel Duff. Well, they need to start putting these away. Again, Speedy Smith. Eight seconds left on the shot clock, and that wouldn't fall. And the defensive rebound is taken by Elijah Childs. Well, that could be further pressure on them. It was Meieres who had the miss. Back and Bears are really making Hapoel pay at the moment. Another foul. Speedy Smith staying up, and he just got into the way of Tony Carr. First foul for Speedy Smith. It is a purple patch right now for the back in the Bears. Noam Dobrat and Seem Sandavene in for Marek Smijeris and Carrington. This to tie it up, and it drops from Childs. 18 points for him, 55-55, and we are level for only the third time. And the last time it was level, it was 27 all. Childs with 18 points today. He has got double his season tally in the points per game average. Having to be careful that doesn't go backward. It nearly did. Taken on by Randolph. Had to be careful. The shot has to come now. It was being missed. And the foul was an unwise one to give away. Deng Edel fouling Levi Randolph. That is Deng's first. Well, here's a man who's been around with the Raptors, 905, the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2019, Long Island Nets, Illawarra Hawks, Maine Celtics. 
Levi Randolph trying to be the main man. That's 11 points for him. Second from the free throw line is coming now. Yep, on to a dozen points. Same as Carrington. 57 plays 55, but Applewell could not take anything for granted. I don't know if they were earlier. They have never trailed in this contest, but it might be about to. Ryan Evans heading into the paint. Oh, well kept alive by Tony Carr. Back in the paint again, not thinking about the three, and he's lost it. Quick turnover against the Bears. They suffer. Hankins made it work. Speedy Smith bring it on. Hankins back at the sharp end again. Speedy Smith hits three for Speedy Smith from downtown. It's a five-point game. All those assists tonight. His first three-pointer, he's got six, and the chance for Giles rebounds. Eight three-pointers for Happowell now. And in it goes from Zach Hankins. He flew through the air. Oh, what a glorious touchdown for Happowell. The only way to fly. is brought through by Dengadel. The gap is up to seven points now. Younger brother, Marek Akesh, South Florida Bulls. Where he was born is now South Sudan. Deng, again, having come from Ottawa in the past six months, and that was set up well for Charles, who got the shot away anyway, with three seconds left in the shot clock, but it turned over against Charles. It'll be gathered by Levi Randolph, but on the deck again. <laughs> Applewell are racking up the fouls. Segev will be somewhat frustrated by that. He's rattled three up now. His coach will be even more frustrated, though. You know how you say you're always your own biggest critic? It ain't necessarily so. Here's uh, Dengadel again, flying up, yes! Oh, that's a beautiful score! There's not a huge travelling contingent from Denmark, if any. Hence the uh, brilliant score, not greeted by very much. He deserved it. Segev may feel he deserves a lot more there than what he got.
Noah Churchill in for Tony Carr for back and bears and Itay Segov can take away the brunt. That's a bit of a bash in the nose, definitely. So Marek Mieres is back in sooner than he would have thought. Past the baseline. Openings for Noam Dov, right, he's back on and we haven't seen him score any more than the one field goal he's got so far, the two-pointer, Speedy Smith pulled away the fade well, I just didn't quite have the additional power it needed, and the Bears could punish. Skyler Boland, three points so far tonight. This the double eight. He has done it, it is a two-point game again, and they will not be written off. And you just can't shake off a sneaking suspicion that they can take the lead in this. And maybe Nick, an astonishing win. They have not led for a single second. But they've been kept, sometimes at arm's length, sometimes at finger's length. Randolph with the driving layup, making it a four-point game. Brilliantly claimed Mayers. Chance of three, right from the corner. And Speedy Smith sails by. Seventy-one seconds left in this third quarter. Well, that is personal coaching at volume. Foul by Noam Dovra. In by Bowling. Dovra has two fouls now. Five assists tonight. This to make it a two-point game again, and he has done it. Applewell have used up all the fouls as well, and that's another big problem. Still 50 seconds to go. Chance for three, wouldn't fall in, was well reclaimed by Childs. Vene with the three-point effort, Levi Randolph had missed the two-point driving layup, but Mieris with the offensive rebound. Bears with a couple of fouls to use up in this final minute of the third quarter. And Berlin with the foul, that's his second, I make it. Nobody in foul trouble yet. Oh, well, apart from Carrington, he's got four. Segev with three. Berlin. Dobrak had drawn the foul, but they couldn't capitalize. And they are in big trouble here. Dang it, Dell, ready to score, ready to tie it up. And with 28 seconds left in the quarter. Foul by Bennett. Bennett's second foul tonight. Given that to Cornelius, I can tell you it was originally Vene, uh, second foul for Cornelius, but the referees will review just to make sure they've got it right. Yeah, I think it is Cornelius, really. Well, they put that down as unsportsmanlike. Dang Adele drawing the foul anyway. Arm was out.
called that way. A technical foul against Cornelius. So the Bears on the brink again. It would have helped if that had gone in, though, from Dengadel. Oh, he's missed them both. That's costly. This late in the game, it's not fatal, but it doesn't help. They're being a technical bear, so got the ball back, and they have the cue to lead. 19 seconds to go, four left in the shot clock. Shot to nothing, wouldn't drop, now it will! And it's missed by Childs, third time lucky! Churchill was in there, and it's all square, 64 each after all of those misses. Happowell pulling it back in! Pressure! What pressure! Then a gorgeous score! After it had all been pulled up, that's the buzzer beater for three! It is their ninth of the contest, it's Venez. Third, he's got nine points, 67-64, heading into the final quarter. Hapoel Jerusalem lead by three. High percentage in terms of the two points of Hapoel has been that way all night. Fabulous crowd. <laughs> Ten minutes to go. And it remains in the balance. So, Hapoel Jerusalem just keeping their noses in front, only just in what has been a very, very impressive and tight contest between these two. Their first ever meeting here. Only their second of all time, and the first of which came earlier this month, three weeks ago. Carrington, Venedovrat, Hankins, Cornelius, 
on court for Hapoel Jerusalem in the hands of Michel Diouf. Still possibilities and it won't find them, but it is still going to be a Bears ball past the baseline. The chance was there for the three. Cornelius with the blocking motion, not necessarily what they wanted. Bears yet to be burnt off. So dominant in Denmark, in Scandinavia. For the Basketball Champions League is something that they found a tough nut to crack, but that's a lovely score. They reached the semi-finals of the Europe Cups last season. They were beaten and angry by 18 only by Reggio Emilia, the best ever European run. That was a lovely score by Childs, set up by Churchill. Childs now on 20 points. The first score of the quarter, the attempt coming from distance by Cornelius and fouled in the process. Cornelius joined the foul of Tony Carr and it's three shots on the free throw line. That was Carr's first foul of the night. Carrington on four fouls. Cornelius, oh yes. First attempt from the free throw line tonight. He's making it work here, Cornelius. Three points in Denmark in the previous meeting, five points in the two-point win over Darius back, and he's got all three here. He's doubled his score up to six. 70 plays, 66 with nine minutes to go. Good contest, this. Played up short again for Ryan Evans. Back and need something big from him. And Tony Carr in this final quarter. Carr with a jump shot, no joy. Couldn't quite lay it up well. Childs has scored 20. Carr 14. Nobody else is in double figures with him. Bowling eight. Evans eight. But they're still only four points down. Trying to rise their game. Happowell, and it just flew through the grasp of Hankins. Right when Hapoel needed it. Under the basket. The trajectory perfect. The lead is six. And fouled as well by Jukic. He'll have another point to add to it. Possibly. So it opens up for Jukic again, with the gap being six with eight minutes to go. Well, there was an opening possibly of looking for a three-pointer. Jukic, they've knocked it around. He had to come in the paint just to make sure. He's up to nine points now. The gap is four. Who can say? Two-point win over Darius Shafaka, one over back and Bears. Now, that's pain for Noam Dovrat. His knee, his right knee, just look at the impact when he comes down here. Gets bumped. Oh, it buckled there. And the leggings suggest he's got something to protect anyway. That looks horrible. That looks utterly, utterly horrible. Oh, my word.
Hey, they've had some men through the wards tonight. Segev with that big bump in his nose. This could be a little bit costly in terms of the game. Now Dovrak can limp off. Doesn't want to put any weight on that. Um, anybody who's had knee trouble will tell you. You knock a think of it as something out of place. That will hurt, and that will hurt a lot. I hope he's not dislodged anything there. That is big trouble for Dovrat. That is a big pity. It, it, honestly, it's hard to see him come back tonight. Well, hopefully we do see him back in future games. Two weeks' time away at Ludwigsburg. The week after that, away at Darashafaka. Deep into Hanukkah as it will be Christmas week elsewhere honestly I thought the mascot was going to throw that into the crowd Dovrat will be going there and his night looks done six assists he's had a good evening and unfortunately for him it is now good night Speedy Smith oh that's good placement of Cornelius aiming for three couldn't quite execute it Almost worked out, and the Bears can bring it through here and splice the gap even more so. Happen well of a lot of fouls still in their locker that they can use. Seam Sandovene with his third of the night on Tony Carr. Has come through, regained by Childs. Tony Carr step inside the paint again. They've had moments when they could have had threes, but wanted to get closer in to make sure, and he couldn't quite do it that time. Carr brought it in. Quick turnover. Level on rebounds. Not level in terms of a score yet. This could go either way. For some, it might not have been a headliner this week, but it's been one of the best games of the week. Charles missing the two-point try. Come through well, Hankins, the right man in the right place again, and Bears can't bear the brunt in terms of the discipline anymore. Carrington had had the defensive rebound after the miss, Ryan Evans with the foul. That's his third, it'll be two free throws for that. The foul drawn by Zach Hankins up to 15 points by halftime and still on 15. So it's Hankins, he's missed the first. Well, he's missed both of them and how costly will that ultimately be? They've only missed six free throws tonight. Chance for Diop for three. That would have certainly made those misses from the free throws hurt there. Bearing the pressure, Bears have used up all their fouls for the remainder of the contest. And the short layup's been missed by Speedy Smith. Chance for Randall for three. That's the way to do it. Levi Randolph has 17 tonight, and the gap is seven. And that is their 10th three-pointer tonight. Well, 
Joel Randolph, what an evening. Bene with that foul, by the way, he's on four now, so has to be careful. Still has a lot to contribute. He's not the only one. What a three from Boland, and he's on 11 points. That is his third three-pointer tonight. Bears have scored seven. This is a good scoring contest for them. And that's a foul. That is a foul by Boland, his third. Mistimed it. And that will go to the line. Speedy Smith with 13 assists tonight. He's certainly contributed a good bit in terms of the scoring. It was Carrington's effort and the foul. Carrington missing the first of his three free throws, but getting the second. 15 points for him now. And that'll do. Well, he's got two out of the three. Makes it a six-point game, and that's enough. 16 points for Carrington. He is on four fouls, has to watch that. Here's Tony Carr bumping. Steve Speedy Smith was there. Managed to put it away. Whistle had gone. Anyway, he's got the two points. And he can add to it, Carr. He's up to 16 points now, but only four points in this half. 77 plays 73, Speedy Smith with his second foul. Uh, one attempt coming here for an additional point. And he's got it. Carr with 17 now. Three point game, 77-74. It's the most the back and bears have scored in the group stage. They beat Swans, Gumunsen, 83-65 in the qualifier semi-final in Belgrade, and then beat the home side FMP by 88 to 82. And Carr was top scorer in that. And this is Hankins to score, and he's drawn the foul. Brilliant race through, and he had uh, Dukic alongside him. It is Dukic, his second foul. So for an additional point, Hankins to hit 20. Oh no, not quite. Scored 14 in the win in Denmark a few weeks ago, 18 in the nine point loss to Ludwigsburg, 10 points against Dallas Shafaka. And the attempt wouldn't fall for Tony Carr. Hankins with two blocks tonight. So that is 20 games in a row in which he's got at least one block, and that is a basketball Champions League record. All the fouls will be punished on the free throw line from here on in. Speedy Smith can't score. Rebounding brilliantly now. Seven points between them. And turn. For 18 points. Here the response swift from the Bears, who are not gone, not done, not hibernating this winter. Brilliant block, first time around and then second, no way through. Zach Hankins blocking the shot. Carrington having his role to play too. It's a foul by Randolph. That's Randolph's first tonight. So from the free throw line, Childs having some night. 21 points to Childs now. Came from Chapani in the summer. He scored five points in the loss in Denmark three weeks ago. He has scored 22 tonight. 
That's the kind of tally that they were needing. There were still quite a few timeouts in hand as well. And this is Happowels. Well, what a night for Kadeem Carrington and those 18 points that he's notched up. Six from free throws out of eight attempts. Two three-pointers as well. Hapoel have not trailed a single second in this contest. But they still haven't got the result over the line. Tony Carr, 19 points a Carr to throw down. And to really throw down the gauntlet as well. If you want to win this Happowell, you're going to have to go the extra yard. Do you have it within you? Or is it going to be a big back and Bears win on the road? It would only be their second in Champions League history. It's open up for Speedy Smith, but he couldn't turn it in. Maybe now for Hankins, fouled. Big chances under the basket. Remember, they did win back in Bears' day. He's drawn blood as well, by the way, in his hand. Now, how did that happen? They won in Belgrade by six against FMP, who were the, the home club, if you like. They were in the host city. Grabs it, and then a bit of a slashing, and that hurt, that hurt, that hurt. It's unsportsmanlike against Tony Carr. Oh, look at that. Coming right out of the nose. It's only his second foul. So the duties will be handed across to Manex Mayaris. Ooh, missed. And both have failed to drop in. Happerwell will have possession back after the unsportsmanlike foul. But they've missed quite a few free throws in this final quarter, and the door is still open for the back and bears. Incredibly, remarkably, some way, somehow, they are not dead yet. Brilliant pull away, but it wouldn't drop in. And trying to break his way through. Ryan Evans, there was no way through for him. In terms of the free throws in this fourth quarter, by the way, five out of ten for Happowell and three out of three for the Bears.
Vieira's drawing the foul against Ryan Evans, who's now on four fouls, one away from exclusion. Hapoel bringing it clear, but not scoring. This is so costly. Four points for the Bears since Hapoel turned in. 50% in terms of the field goals, 28 over 55 for Hapoel. 48%, 29 out of 60 for Back and Bears. Remarkable. And the two point attempts in this final quarter, four out of nine, this is all field goals, four out of nine for the host. It's four out of 10 now for Hapoel. Six out of 14 for Back and Bears. Taken up by Tony Carr. Can he bring it through? A turnover. Taken away by Kadeen Carrington on 18 points tonight. Two minutes to go. Speedy Smith. Slowing it down. Carrington. Gliding in towards the paint and going to work. But it's not good work. He rebounded well. Looking to draw the foul. And Childs is in there. He's not fouled much himself tonight, actually. I make that only a second foul. Carrington and missed the layup. Got the steal. Carrington joined the foul. It goes to the line again. It's quite a night for Hankins. Back on, Hankins from Mieras, Carrington gets the first. 19 points for him tonight. And that is 20 for Kadeen Carrington. Five point game, 113 seconds to go. Bears trying to dig out more twos and threes. Get their first win in the group stage this season. Keep alive their chances of the play-ins, maybe. It's been missed by Carr, went for the three, off the rim. Oh, that's clever. Very smart, in for Hankins. And he's hit 21 points now. The right men are ratcheting up the scores at the right time. 21 for Hankins, 20 for Carrington, 17 for Randolph. That is serious scoring. Ninety seconds to go. Jukic in for Childs. They've had their time out back in pairs. Held by Carr. Now need to get these scores away. Barely a minute to go, and that won't help either. It's just run through from Michel Duff. This is the two-point play, Hapoel holding on by seven. A game they've dominated, they've led pretty much all the way. The scores have only been level twice. 
taken in by Hankins but lost, turnover taken by Evans, these need to go in, Dukic has come back towards Evans again but they can't eat up too much time either, Dukic going for three, missing it, they needed all of those to go their way and all the circumstances were not in their way and their chances are fading and somehow they kept their chances alive all night, they played really well of the champions of Denmark but it's happy time to happen well <laughs> foul by Ryan Evans and that is his fifth foul and he is excluded is making them pay pure punishment Hapoel set to go three and one the gap is eight points with 40 seconds to go it's not insurmountable it is now Randolph intercepting and the Bears have been mauled and they know it's not going to come their way now Speedy Smith, great night, all those assists and that is the crowning glory for Speedy Smith nine points a couple of three pointers in this half glory have a bit of that. He's the man. 14 is. At the end of the sky, right here. Okay, fish popping. Nago, look here after setting this. Okay, be patient with the ball here. Okay, sky in the corner. Nago right here, knees on the top. If nothing happens, Tony, you're getting back to the ball show right here to my game. Okay, so be patient with it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hapoel about to go alongside Reason of Ludwigsberg. Still playing, and Ludwigsberg are about to lose by the looks of it. Taken up by Elijah Childs again. Chance for three to wrap up the game. Hapoel have wrapped up the win. The rebound in by Childs. 24 points through tonight. An excellent haul. Carr with 19. Bowling with 11. But it will not be enough. Four defeats and the spin in the group stage of back and Bears. They still have only won one away from home in 13 now in history in the Basketball Champions League. Hapoel Jerusalem 89. Back in Bears 80. Hapoel are on their way to the top of the group. Reason Ludwigsberg up alongside them. 61% in terms of the two point tries. 19 out of 31. They rebounded marginally better. Bears had more steals. Hapoel with all those assists. 27 14 coming from Speedy Smith. Hankins with 22 points. Carrington 20. Randall 17, and though Childs top scored in 24, it's Hapoel who beat the back and Bears by nine. Put a lot into this game to the Danish champions. They just can't get a break, and right now they just can't get a win. Happy times to Hapoel Jerusalem, seven wins in a row in all competitions. Their third in the Israeli State League with a 5-2 and two record. 
away win over Maccabi Tel Aviv last weekend. Back-to-back -back wins in Europe over Back and Bears. It was the play-ins last season. They lost the property in that two games to one. What about this season for Hapoel Jerusalem? They've been very effective tonight. And oh, what a brilliant crowd at the Pius Arena. 11,000 it holds. It's one of the few five-figure basketball stadiums in Europe. What an atmosphere. So Happel Jerusalem top of the group because of the loss for Riesel Ludwigsberg. Dara Shafaka pull away from Back and Bears, who played for and lost for. It is Happelwell who are happy tonight.